Hi friends, welcome back to The Classy Mommy. I'm Brittany and I'm glad you're here. In today's video, I wanna show you how I've been inspired by Jennifer L. Scott's The 10 Item Wardrobe. If you've never heard of Jennifer L. Scott's The 10 Item Wardrobe, I'll leave some of her links down below. Definitely go check her out, she is amazing. I've been watching her on this journey for years and years and she's just been so inspiring. I've always told myself, well, if I'm ever a stay-at-home mom or if I'm ever not juggling professional outside of the homework with being a mom, then I'll for sure do the 10 item wardrobe. And I've kind of used that as my reason not to try it. I've probably just been really scared and a little bit intimidated because only 10 items of clothes sounds really hard and a little bit stifling, to be honest. However, we just moved to a new home and I'm feeling extra inspired to try it because so many of our clothes are still in storage and still being packed. And I'm noticing that I'm just wearing the same pieces on repeat a lot and really enjoying it. For those of you who don't know me, I am a mom of a three-year-old and a one-year-old and I'm a music teacher at an elementary school. So the pieces in my wardrobe have to work really hard to survive my own children and then my hundreds of children I see at school. And my pieces need to be able to camouflage sticky fingers and snot and whatever else I encounter during the day. Um, my pieces also need to be easy to clean, easy to maintain. Um, I love patterns and colors. However, it was really hard to find and kind of dwindle down pieces that could mix and match because I do love so many big, bold patterns. So that's taken a little bit of self-control. I also needed enough pieces in my closet so that I didn't have to do laundry midweek. Sometimes I have to change multiple times a day because I have young children myself and they're just messy and at work sometimes I get things all over myself. I don't even know where they came from. Probably one of my sweet little students. So I needed enough pieces that I wouldn't be dependent on doing laundry during the week. I really prioritize trying to do laundry on the weekends. So that's my biggest reason why I am not quite at 10 pieces yet. I have 18 core items. Now, if you are a 10 item wardrobe daily connoisseur, Jennifer L. Scott fangirl like I am, <laughs> you know that she really sticks with around 10. Some years less, some years a little bit more. I'm not there yet and I'm totally okay with that. She also talks about how extras are not included. She counts extras as t-shirts, um, cardigans, sweaters that you might not wear quite as often, outerwear, shoes, accessories, scarves, those are all extras. So she really promotes the idea of 10 core items. The core items could be blouses, um, tops that you would wear like on a regular basis but not t-shirts, um, jeans, um, dresses, and skirts. Those are what she typically includes in her 10 items. Now I have, like I said, about 18 pieces and I am okay with that. I also will have some extras like cardigans, um, t-shirts. I don't wear t-shirts quite as often, but cardigans and, and some occasional sweaters I will include in my extras. Also, I will include blazers in my extras. I haven't seen her include a ton of blazers in current years, but in past years, I saw her have some blazers and it seems like they were usually in her extras. If I remember right, I could be mistaken. But for me, blazers will be in my extras. Okay, I'm excited to show you guys. And here's my challenge for myself. I'm going to focus on using these 10 core items in my professional work wardrobe for the month of November. But I feel like it's enough of an exercise in restraint of trying to play with just those pieces and wear them in different ways that I think that will be a little bit of a challenge for me. I'm really looking forward to not having to think as much in the morning about what I'm wearing because those 18 pieces are right there. I'm not clearing out all the other things in my closet at this point. I'm just kind of pushing them to the side and putting these 18 pieces front and center. Without further ado, let's take a look at the pieces. <music> 